Hi everyone, it's Narissa, and today I am going to be doing the Alphabet Makeup Challenge, I think it's called. It's, I don't actually know what it's called, but it's pretty much just doing your makeup in alphabetical order. So, on my phone, I have written down the order that I do my makeup, pretty much so that way I know I don't miss a step. If I do miss a step, I am so sorry. Um, I have tried my best, and I'm just going to put it in alphabetical order. So, the order we're going to be doing it in is blush, bronzer, concealer, contour, eyebrows, eyeshadow, foundation, highlight, lashes, lipstick, mascara, powder, primer, setting spray. Whew, okay. So, we're going to be starting with blush, which I don't really know what I can use for blush. I don't really have any cream blushes. Let me have a look if I've got any. So, I'm going to use the blush from the NARS... Hot Escape Iron Cheek Palette in the colour Hot Pursuit. It's just this one here, so I'm going to use that blush. I'm just going to pack a lot of it on. I'm going to use this brush here, the Duo Fiber Brush from Crown. So I'm just going to take it straight on there. And just try to put a lot on. It's going to look crazy, I know, but wow, I look like a clown <laughs> that's blush we're looking a little bit crazy but i want to pack it on so that way by the time we get to foundation because foundation is um not laid it on um not laid it on so we're going to do bronzer next so i'm just going to use my everyday bronzer i love these i'm just going to be using everyday products i don't really want to go out and try anything new or anything like that because I don't want it to end badly. So we're just going to use the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit, the shade Light Medium, and just going in with the bronze colour. I mean, I'm just going to use a lot, a lot of bronzer. And just bronze my face. Again, using a lot. I could use a cream here, but I might use that for contour. Because the cream that I have is really a contour shade, not a, a bronze shade. This is like a real true bronze so I might go in with the cream with the contour I look absolutely crazy going down the sides of my nose I'm using a lot of this as well like I'm really packing it on because I really do want this to shine through because I'm going to put foundation on it's going to get covered so I'm just going to look crazy for a bit well I don't know if you can really see on camera but I look ridiculous <laughs> okay so the next is going to be concealer so i'm going to use the Rev revlon maybelline master conceal in the shade 10 fair i'm just gonna squirt some on the back of my hand and then i'm just taking my concealer brush which is the oval concealer from crown brushes and I'm just going to conceal where I normally would. Okay, next I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender. This is not a beauty blender, but my beauty sponge, I guess you call it. It's the ones from Kmart. They're actually really good. They're like, I think, 3 to $6, somewhere like that. And honestly, I find these work better than beauty blenders. Uh, like the real beauty blenders from like Sephora and that, so... I just prefer it to be more soft, and that's what this is. It's really soft. Wow, that looks horrible. Okay, well, we're just going to work with it. Okay, so next after concealer is contour. Okay, this one, let me find some using cream. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Espresso. I use this as a cream contour. I don't cream contour all the time, but I'm going to today. Just, you know, around the sides of my face. I'm going to use a brush to blend this out because she full, she full coverage. And if I use a brush, I feel like I can sort of control it a bit more. I'm using the Bizarre Four Cheek Sculptor Brush. Oh, my contour is so muddy because it's sort of like... I don't know if you can see that. It is so muddy. Ugh. 
Okay. Moving on. <laughs> Next step is eyebrows. This one, easy peasy. Um, I'm just taking my e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in the shade Medium Brown. Just going to be doing my eyebrows. Moving on. Eyeshadow. This one is probably going to be pretty easy. I'm going to do a very simple eye look because no point going intricate and then me wiping all of this off anyways when it goes horrible. So, um, eyeshadow, I'm just going to be doing something simple. I'm just going to use my Modern Renaissance palette from ABH because it's my favourite all time palette and it works every time no matter what which is what I want right now. I'm going to be taking my um, Zoeva 227 Luxe Crease Brush I think it's called and the shade Burnt Orange. Okay anyway I'm just using Burnt Orange in the crease. just like so. Next we're going to take the shade Raw raw Red Ochre, focusing that on the outer corner and the crease, which is in that very middle crease, not blowing it out too much, not blending it very far at all. Using it on the exact same brush. So yeah, just blending, 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 blending. Going it under my eyes. On the lid, I am going to use just a packing brush. This is what am I going to use? I'll use this packing brush. It's quite big, an oval shadow brush with the shade Primavera, which is such a gorgeous gold color. So then I'm going to use the shade Vermeer. On that brow bone and that inner corner with a little pencil brush from the weaver it's the 230 Lux pencil brush so yeah and then just blending that out and then that is eyes complete um next is a foundation that'll match normally i don't apply it like that but it all came out on my finger when I was just trying to put a bit on my hand to like swatch it, so that's great. Uh, okay, wipe that off. Um, still gonna need more foundation because you guys know I'm a cake kid. This foundation is so runny, I forgot. <laughs> okay, it is pretty full coverage too, which you get like. Oh wow, I've already covered up my entirety of my blush. And my contour, which is like actually great. Like this foundation matches me so well. I love it. This is this is what I use when I have a fake tan. I use one fifteen or one twenty, just depending on how tan I am. Or I use I think Santa Fe in the Nars foundation, but I don't have any of it right now because I gave it to my mum. All right, my camera cut out at some point. I'm not too sure when, so I hope you didn't miss too much. Um, I don't know when it cut out, but it cut out. So we're going to be moving on to highlight. I just finished foundation, so highlighter time. Um, highlighter I'm going to use is going to be from the Revolution Makeup Revolution London highlight palette. I don't know what this is called. It doesn't say on it. It's just literally says Makeup Revolution London, and then it's just got four colors in it. It's a pretty nice palette to be honest. I'm gonna use this pointed tapered brush. I'm gonna take a mixture between these two shades. So between the gold and the... Oh, that's very nice. You definitely can't see that on camera, but... Oh yeah, maybe you can just there. It's quite nice. Oh, it's going on very chunky. And I look crazy. Okay, moving on. Next step is going to be lashes. I don't actually know if I want to wear lashes, to be honest. Moving on to lipstick. Um, lipstick today I'm going to be using Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Candy K. Um, 
not doing lip pencil because I can't be bothered. So just using Candy K. Matte liquid lipstick. Okay. So that is lipstick on. Oh, actually, that was quite nice. Okay, next is mascara. So I'm going to just curl my lashes and then put on my mascara. So now I'm just taking my super sharp, or oh, super fan mascara from Smashbox and just putting mascara on and I'm definitely going to get this is going to transfer so bad because my foundation's wet next we have powder finally I've been waiting for powder for so long using my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation and just a big brush with this a flat bronzer brush I'm just going to be literally patting this on my skin his primer. This is the bit that I didn't want to do. I'm not going to cheat. I want to cheat, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to zoom you in so you can really see how gross this is going to be. So right now, I'm taking my primer. The Stylist Primer, the original. Squirting it on my hand. Laying in actual amount. I'm going to sort of warm it up between my fingers. Oh. This just... This just doesn't feel right. It hasn't done too bad. Okay. I'll zoom you back out. So you can see me again. Okay, it didn't do too bad to be honest. But that is primer done. That was not fun at all. Um, that just felt wrong. Next is setting spray and then we are done. That is officially done. I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can like see the actual like product on my skin. It doesn't look too bad to be honest. Like this could be a lot worse. I don't think the primer ended up as bad as I thought it was going to, which I'm happy about. But yeah, so... That is it for today, guys. Um, this is the finished product. Um, it's not too bad. Definitely look really flat and like I don't have any bronzer on because it's all covered by foundation, which is great. But, you know, we got there in the end. It's all done. And I honestly am quite happy with this. Like, I don't think it looks too bad. Like, if I went out in public, I don't think you'd be like, she did her makeup in alphabetical order. Like, she has primer on her, like, on top of her foundation right now. I think I did all right. Let me know what you guys think down in below in the comments. If you guys have any other suggestions for other challenges we could, I could do in the future, feel free to let me know down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!